push me. Hi. Al Sharpton has a new reality show, by the way. I'm serious. Now, how can they name it anything but, what, my big, fat, obnoxious civil rights leader? Come on. That's got to be the name. Oh, fine. But what about uh, that pimp Saddam today? Did you see that crazy bastard blown up the spot in the courthouse? The judge was like, Mr. Hussein, you ought to charge with genocide and war crimes. And Saddam's like, whoa, 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 whoa. See, he's wearing his, like, 80s suit. I'm sorry. Who are you again, my man? Don't raise your voice. We're gentlemen here. Everyone knows it's a comedy by Bush the Criminal. This is all for the Bush the Criminal. Bush the Criminal. Somebody slipped somebody a copy of Fahrenheit 9-11. Um, he actually was like that. You know, he was trying to put it on the judge. It was like that new Eminem D12 song. Ain't nothing changed unless it's you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank God the Iraqis are in charge, that's all I gotta say, of what to do with Saddam. Because we would probably, I don't know what we would do, give him like six months suspended sentence. I hope, I hope they torture him so bad his body doubles scream. <laughs>
That's not a big deal. 70% of street crimes are committed by his people. Uh, <laughs> Uh, white collar That's not crimes. True. No, but white collar crimes are usually committed by people that can read, so you know they're going to be white people. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't like the. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me address this. I don't like the fact that you're saying 70% of crimes are committed by awful hack comics. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I really thought you were going to take up for me. That hurt. <laughs> You're saying 70% of the street is this. Will we please talk about you... this? What? The issue? Yeah. Do of you course. think. Or do you not think they should be identified when people should yes. their race well, be identified? They Why be. not? Yeah, because it, yes. it, of course. Oh, sorry, I was going to yes. say something. Of course. No, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> what do you Come mean, on, man. Because I, I, I hate when they make you wait to the end of the paper to, to tell who the race is. Oh, so it's just a punchline thing. It's like, huh? You're, yeah, they should do it. You they should do it in the beginning, or what? No, they. I, I just don't. You know, you don't need to. I don't think you really need to. Uh, who needs to know? Who really needs yeah, to know? People the people that, that are looking people for the guy? Need, people well, that, the people you know, who are looking for the guy yeah. should know what the color they yeah. are. Well, then why do you tell the public to help them The only thing they do it is for racists like you. No, That's no, why no. they do it. They don't no. need to do it for racists like me. No, I, I assume they're black, even if they're white. I'll die. I probably know a black If the guy. name is like, you know, either like a Muslim first name or Latrunzo, and then like a president's name, we assume. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nothing, folks? Listen, in this double standard society... Can you, not, like, oh, can you not spit on me first? Okay, okay, no no words with S. No, no, no words with S. He has to spit. Okay, I'll, say, I'll say the S no, word. In this double standard <laughs> society. society. Go ahead. No. If there's a one you see how stupid he is? He didn't even get what I was trying to do. I got what he was doing. I got what you boss was I'll say the S words. In this double... All right, listen, Boy Scout shirt. Here's the deal. It's gotten too complicated. Okay, and double if just white on black crime, they're gonna say white people did it. That's true. Without any question, because it's gonna sell papers. Right. That's what it is. That's right. They're not gonna say black on on white crime because it was so jaded with it, it's not gonna sell, and people don't care anymore. They expect that to happen, and that's what it is. It's about money. What's gonna sell the papers? And it's not a punchline, but that's the deal. Okay. We know it's not a punchline by the stares that you're getting stupid. Okay. <laughs> Everything doesn't have to be a point. <laughs> All right, let's it's talk about point. let's talk about cosmetics for men. It become oh. a big bit. You want to chime All in? All right, you want to say I something do. else? We don't have a minute anyway. No, yeah. no, no, no. I, I didn't know. No, screw it. My intro will take a goddamn yeah. half a minute, so screw it. We're back on the subject. Either Saddam <laughs> or race. I want to talk about cosmetics because Stupid got a manicure and that really annoys me. Oh, right? did you really? Yes, he did. Little yeah. polished fingernails. And you know what's the good only... about it? Uh, uh, listen, first of all, look how good these look. I don't bite my nails and I want to keep <laughs> you them You can't nice. bite them. They're too small. Look That's at your right. little hands. <laughs> the only time... you got hands like turtle feet. The only time... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, okay, we'll be right back after this. Oh, okay. oh. So the popularity of swinger and fetish sex clubs is on the rise. It's estimated that 10 to 25 percent of the population has visited one. Well, you know, say I would say everybody be. here, obviously. No, no, everybody, nothing. Say white people have visited one. Right. It had nothing to do with black people. We don't do that. Yeah, that's not in our stats. Really? Look it up. We're not in there statistically. Look You've never been to a sex, sex club, you pervert? I've never been to a swingers club. They don't call yeah. it a sex club. They call it a jogger in the park at 2 yeah. in the morning. <laughs> Of gut identification. <laughs> you know what? First of all, well, as far as sex clubs, so prostitutes don't mess with black guys. Either okay. way, they it's never mess with mine. Because they oh. want to get paid. <laughs> That's one of the reasons. It's true, they drive away, they rape them and drive away. No, they, no, no they, I've, I've never done that. Aren't sex clubs good? <laughs> Oh, it's sex clubs what? But I mean, aren't they, I, I, what kind of people go to sex clubs? Don't they all look like, you know, high school no. principals and diner waitresses? I mean, Haven't you ever been to a sex club? No, the I, closest I ever got to a sex club was the, the guy across the way <laughs> used to have sex with his shades up, and occasionally I'd see him and he'd go, hey, you know, that was the closest I ever got. I, I, you know, I it's for... funny, one night, um, we did try to go to a sex club. This is play, a place called The Vault, which I don't even know if it exists anymore. I went to The Vault? Yeah. Well, you this did? Is, this is a new location. Oh, yeah. Me and stupid Voss were going to go. Um, cause he's like, I know where the new location is. So I, I, I found out. We're ringing the bell. <laughs> it was like some guy's apartment. So we're ringing the bell at four in the morning and the guy comes down in a robe after like a half hour. He's like, it's only open on weekends. And you he leaves. What? Really? <laughs> I, 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 did, I had free passes to the vault. That's right. So I was going to use it with him. I remember you had. And then 
I, I went on a first date with this girl. So we first we went up to look at rats. I knew where the rats ran out. I like I the rats. Oh, we went and looked at rats. Hater, a, and then I went date. to the sex club, oh, yeah. and we're standing there in the vault, and some guy is sitting in a chair, just doing things with himself, and we're talking to him like it's a normal conversation. Right. Well, you know, yeah. What was she saying? How does my boyfriend do that with his mouth? No. First of all, <laughs> what the hell I'll tell you exactly. First of all, let's get two things straight. The fact that this son of a bitch boss uses free passes to anything on a first date. <laughs> Second of all, that's one thing. <laughs> Second of all, you're acting like that's so bizarre that we're talking like nothing's wrong. Yet upstairs, I just saw a picture of your erect penis. You passed it to me like it was a picture of kids. The only and that's thing normal. Is that what that picture was? Yes. yes. See, it's and I look at it and give it back like it's normal. So all of us are so. And you've all been to sex clubs. I'm not the only person. No, I've never been to a sex club. I've never been to one. No. I've you've been to aberrant places where sex is a I went to yes. Times Square when they had live sex Thank shows you. there. They used to, yeah. used to go pay for the live sex shows. You go into a booth, you put 50 cents in, and the yes. window comes up, and there was this weird 50-year-old woman with sagging boobs. Just, no, she was holding a beer and she goes, you tipping? I go, no, I'm leaving. You know what I mean? Uh, that was the only experience well, I Norton, had. Well, see, he wants to know if a bathhouse is like a sex club, right? You've been to bathhouses, haven't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do in a Wait, sex I club? Would, I would like to tell you that there was a peep show on, this is, if this is not a sex club, 54th and Broadway before, and I love Giuliani, but I didn't care for the whole peep show shutting down thing. But that the, was like the place where I went, like that. A window of, would yeah, open yeah, up. Yeah. A window would open up, and maybe a girl would turn around, and her hiney would be there. Yeah. And if you slip the old gal five bucks, maybe you could, you know, go a little bit. Maybe you could. <laughs> One time. Maybe you could do that for five bucks on fifty. We went. Me and him. Me and him were coming back from Philadelphia from a gig, and there was a place in, outside of Philly where you go in and you pay money, and the girl watch it. Wasn't it, didn't I get thrown out of Watches there for what? trying to talk the girl down at the uh, people? Talk the girl down or? Yeah. You know, I didn't want to pay the Would money. Would you like to rephrase wanted. that for us? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Judah <the> girl down. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if you're sitting there, wait, but what do you do? You go in and there's people having sex, you just sit there and watch them go, yes. Oh, yeah. Good or you, you could jump in. No, or you, you jump in. Oh, yeah. yeah, if you bring it's it's like like swingers, ball. right? It's swinger club. Right. right. Yeah. 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 They used to have them all over New York. And these pretty the people. That's what I went to the zoo. They had hot ones at that place. I did. Wait, shut up. I did the convention in Reno, the swingers convention I performed. And what it is usually, I'm sorry. How'd you get it's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, heavy set okay. guys with a lot of cash that watch their good looking wives go with other girls, okay? Like They're Jack not, Ryan, you were talking about. Yeah, they, yeah it's that, that, guys, that, that woman was too good looking. Like, why would she go to a place like that with that guy? For the thrill of it. Really? I thought that was just him going, look what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know. But I mean, you know, if you're with your lady, though, and, you know, she goes with a guy and you see her and she's doing, you know, more things with the guy than she would do with you. That's gotta be, you know, that, you know. I absolutely could not, I, I can't have that uh, be another guy in the room when I'm having sex. Like, I couldn't, first, <laughs> no, no, I'm telling you. <laughs> I, me, me and a buddy of mine. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim the guy in the room. Shut, shut, up, up, say, shut up, everybody. Let me just say, you're not imagining things if you feel weird, like suddenly. <laughs> Like this whole conversation has been we so proper and out. so Christian. These phony mother no. are the biggest perverts in the goddamn world, myself included, only I'm admitting it. And they're pretending, oh, two no. guys in a room. But you, shut your mouth. I can't, shut your mouth, you phony idiot. I cannot. Shut up, no. boss. Tell how many times you've been done doing with this son of a bitch. He is lying. You, he's well, a you, liar. You jerked we'll off the back right of back. boss's car. We'll be right back. <laughs>
Well, uh, I was on an airplane flying in, and I, you know, I couldn't get on that phone to call movie phone and make uh, reservations. And I know how you had to watch uh, Maury Povich's paternity test results. <laughs> that was more important, so you couldn't do it. So I, I my P.U. You, boss. Sorry. <laughs> uh, if I wasn't sleeping with your sister, I would have went down and picked up some tickets. <laughs> Marin. Well, I gotta make her cry first. Why, if you had gotten out of the house on time, I mean, what the, oh, I mean, we could have, why are you crying? All right, I'm sorry, it's my fault, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Rita, what else is bothering you? That woman over there keeps looking at us. Mark. No, I didn't, oh yeah, I did f her. Oh. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> I better start sending her that child support. <laughs> The word child, it's not that hard. Uh, Keith! Oh, that's the girl's uh, cousin who I, um... Damn it. Never mind. <laughs> Over to Jim. Uh, she must be mistaking me for someone she slept with three weeks ago who gave her syphilis. Okay. <laughs> Rita, you got something else? I'm in my 30s. Okay, Jim. <laughs> Well, I met you when you were 29, and I didn't have the courage to kill you then. <laughs> Keith! <laughs> well, if I didn't mention the fact that you were 28, the time wouldn't have won so fast, and now you're 30. Oh, for uh. three. <laughs> <laughs> Boys! Sorry, but if I would have went to college, maybe I would have learned... Would have learned... <laughs> Hold on, no, it's a good one. Uh, sorry, if I would have went to college, maybe I would have learned how to stop time. Oh. You know what? I'm glad we got that one out. <laughs> Mark! You're in your 30s? Yeah, okay, yeah, I know. I, I, I have no idea either why you're still with me. Okay. Rita, is there more? Uh, it's raining. <laughs> Answers, please. Mark! Okay, yeah, okay. I'm just like your dad. I get it. <laughs> Rich! <laughs> it's not raining. It's me talking. <laughs> Keith! Oh, for four. <laughs> Jim! I'm very selfish. I know how much you hate the rain, and if I was any good at all, I'd move you to Phoenix or Saudi Arabia. All right. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. You watch the segment where professional comedians, with a few exceptional good ones, got less laughs than Rita, who's just out here reading her lines. She's never done stand-up, but she blew the room away. You can't follow her or Bob Levy. <laughs> oh, we'll be right back. <laughs> up next. Welcome back to the 700 Club. To folks, the Japanese have really done it this time. They claim to have invented a machine that lets you choose what to dream about. Wow. You've got the machine. Program your perfect dream. All right, here's my dream. Here we go. All right. I see a newspaper on the street. The headlines say, Mark Marin, richest man ever, saves world again. No. People wave and smile at me. Random women ask me to have sex with them. So I do, right there on the street. A crowd gathers, applauding. Men take notes. Women line up, 20 deep. I get to all of them. After that, I fly to my own island where I sit naked and eat several pints of ice cream. Knowing that I will never gain weight and that I will never age. I feel no shame or self-loathing. And I know the next day will be exactly the same except for a different flavor of ice cream. <laughs> I hope I wake up before I realize that even all this is not enough. Yes. <laughs> well, you can live that dream at a sex club. Yeah. Rich. Uh, actually, this has been a reoccurring dream for me already. Uh, I live in a house with comics, and I win. Okay. <laughs> Six more months before people forget. Keith. <laughs> well, you know, Colin, my dream would, to ha would be to have sex with powerful women. It would be such a turn-on to bang Judge Judy right in her courtroom oh. with her gavel still in her hand. My dream would be, would have Condoleezza Rice fixing me breakfast in a pair of crackless panties. <laughs> I would have Martha Stewart on me, Oprah <laughs> licking my nipples while sitting on the toilet reading her suggested book. All right. <laughs> well, Jim, 
Uh, my dream would begin with uh, Colin and Keith stopping over. Colin would be wearing shorts to show off his tan, well-muscled legs. <laughs> and uh, Keith would see a newspaper on the table and actually pick it up and attempt to read it. I'd uh, then call my good friend Rich Voss and he'd say, I can't talk right now, I'm writing a new joke. And I'd, <laughs> I'd uh, tell Mark Marin and he'd smile, but he'd be unable to laugh because he's being teabagged by John Ashcroft. Mm. That's the show, everybody. Good night. <laughs>